Ah, good afternoon, uh, Ross Mitchell again. Uh, been on a bit of a scavenger hunt today. Uh, you know, Whitworth Falls uh, purchased for a dollar. It is actually a heat bank. I don't know whether anyone's come across a heat bank. It's like a storage of like uh, cast iron type blocks. You can actually see how uh, heating elements uh, go through. Um, um, and what ends up being, they fit inside a box. Got a box here um, with some insulation that goes in, and all these I think I worked it out about 195 kilos of cast iron blocks fits inside this uh, box. So uh, at night, uh, normally it would heat up during the night on an off peak tariff, but uh, I'm going to use this to uh, my excess solar during the day. Is actually going to heat up the uh, three elements that are inside. There's three elements that are about 1800 uh, watts each um, element, so it's about five and a half ki kilo, uh, five and a half uh, kilowatt uh, of heating elements in it. I think it actually can run on three phase also with three elements, uh, so you can set either one, two, or three uh, elements all going at once. So I'll have to set up a uh, a timer. Um, yeah, so uh, all the idea is to do, uh, to do my heating uh, during the day and uh, warm my house up at night. So I'll, uh, I'll mount this on some wheels, uh, some heavy wheels because it weighs in all up uh, with the box and everything by the label. Uh, 240 uh, kilos of weight. There is probably a label here somewhere. Uh, if we have a look, uh, we go down there and that gives you a bit of an idea. Uh, 5.44 kilowatts. The fan boosts of uh, 1500 watts and the fans, what's that, 23 kilos. And the uh, weight there is uh, 204, uh, 240 kilos. So that gives you the... Uh, idea of what used to be a um, heat bank which is pretty old technology but I'm going to repurpose this to uh, to use to heat up my house uh, in cold climates yeah